What's wet, sweaty, and stickier than glue? It's the morning sweat, and it's here for you. Today, we're talking the World Cup. And a question I've been getting from a lot of casual soccer fans, did the U.S. men's team earn the right to watch this year's tournament? Unfortunately, no. In case you missed the qualifiers, the U.S. team just didn't play well enough this time around to be able to enjoy this year's World Cup final on TV in the comfort of their own homes. The U.S. men's team has watched every World Cup final since the tournament started, so their absence from the viewing public will be felt pretty strongly. But that's what happens when you lose to Trinidad and Tobago in the final qualifying game. Okay, maybe. Maybe they have what it takes to watch a couple of group matches, but to watch a final four? No way. Look, it pains me to say this as a fan, but this year's team just doesn't deserve it. If you want to watch the World Cup, you need dedication. I don't think the U.S. team could handle the pressure of showing up at 11 a.m. to a bar or finding a streaming service on their laptop first thing in the morning. And that's a skill you need when you're watching the World Cup. And based on how they played, I frankly don't even think they want to watch this year's games. But hey, maybe it'll be good for them. They'll have a few years off to practice, and then hopefully they'll bounce back and be able to watch the 2022 games in Qatar. 